Aloha beautiful beings. I want you to ask yourself this question. Is life happening to you or you are making life happen? That's something I asked myself a long time ago and it really changed my life and I hope to inspire you to change your life. You see, I've been working in the wellness and spiritual and mindset and empowering world for almost six years and I'm sharing this with you because I've seen hundreds of people come to my retreat and my partner's retreats and I've attended other people's retreats. I love going to other people's retreats to keep learning and expanding. And I see so many people attending these workshops, retreats, seminars, looking to get healed, looking to find the answers by attending somebody's workshop. But I attend these workshops because it inspires me to find my own answers. And we, I've made videos of this in the past. We are done with the age of the guru. We are done with the age of giving away our, giving our power away. And if you are in a position in your life that you keep complaining about how life is just happening from all, how unlucky you are, how miserable you are, and you just keep complaining and complaining, guess what you're gonna keep attracting? You're gonna keep attracting more reasons more situations, more people to complain about because the world and the universe is always looking to fulfill that which you are calling. That's why I asked you at the beginning, what is your life experience like? Is life just happening to you or are you actually creating life according to your values, according to what makes you come alive? And this is a shift in mindset. This is a shift in perspective that if you choose because everything in life is a choice, you will feel empowered to start creating life and allow life to flow from you and start to really live the life you're meant to be living. I truly believe that we are in the most exciting time ever to be alive. I have this feeling that I really sign up myself and probably you did the same and everybody that is in this world right now, we all made a lineup and we're like, please divine universe, divine creator, I want to be incarnated in this precise time. And I know things may seem crazy, I know we might seem, it might seem that there's lots of death happening, lots of inequality, lots of abuse and violence, but all of these things are just part of the process that we agreed to come experience to be able to wake up. And this leads me to the next question. Are you ready to wake up? Are you ready to take full control and power of your life? Not over anybody's life except your own life. And by you taking a decision of yes, I am ready to step it up. I'm ready to show up as who I am. I'm ready to acknowledge what I am and I'm, no, I'm ready to acknowledge the service I have within each of myself to provide the entire, entire universe and creation. You are making a statement to the universe that says bring it on. I'm ready to activate the ancient codes of wisdom. I'm ready to receive all the abundance that is necessary for me to perform my duties in this incarnation. And this shifts your life existence from being a product of your environment. This, pay attention to these words because this really changed the way my life happens in my life, in now and forever. Is I shifted from being a product from my environment, from creating my environment from the products in my mind. And this is the power that we all have access in our minds, in our hearts. But we first have to become conscious of what story, what narrative, what beliefs we hold within ourselves that are preventing us or allowing us to experience what we are experiencing. And it's that simple yet so many people keep attending seminars, retreats, workshops, trying to find the answers for their questions instead of coming into a zero point where you start to understand that all the answers that you've been looking for, all those big questions 
will be answered when you start looking within. And by no means I say stop attending workshops, retreats, seminars. I love doing so, as I said at the beginning of the video. But attend those workshops, retreats, and seminars, not looking to take from the facilitator, from the teacher, from the guide of the experience, but just to get inspired to find your own answers. And this is a huge difference from attending a workshop, a retreat, a seminar, as a victim, as somebody that I need healing, I need to be helped, to hey, I'm in this place and time, in this precise moment, I might be feeling confused, I might be feeling stressed or anxious, and all that is an illusion by the way, but it's okay to feel like that every now and then. And then you attend this workshop, but not looking to find the savor of your life because that's giving away your power. And it's been happening for hundreds of years. And then somebody takes control and then start to control that population. And we've seen it over and over. But if you are in a place that you need support, attend that workshop, that retreat with the mindset that I don't need to be helped. I just need support and I just need to get inspired to go back into my track and to come into alignment. And that is a very empowering perspective and mindset that will support you to fast forward your awakening because you're no longer attending that workshop or that event with a mindset of I need to be healed, there's something wrong with me. You're attending that workshop with this idea that I know I'm perfect. I know I'm God's greatest creation among many uh, greatest creations because we are all the same yet very uniquely beautiful. But you're attending with this notion that just like a beautiful Swiss watch that it's always on time, but through time it can also get out of sync. We humans sometimes lose notion of our own timing and in this getting lost we find ourselves so it's okay to find yourself lost because if you never find yourself lost how do you even know you can find yourself and how would you even find yourself ever it's like not having night you will never be able to appreciate the light in the day it's like not being heartbroken, you will never understand what love really means. Because we live in duality. We live on planet Earth, which is a beautiful canvas. I don't know how many other places like Earth there exist in the universe, but the Earth is a very unique space where we are given the opportunity to experience everything from light to darkness without judging and just knowing that all of that is part of being human and there's some people that say like let's not be in in a dualistic mindset let's avoid du duality but we live on planet earth and duality is part of this life experience don't get caught up on duality don't get lost on duality we know in the absolute everything is one all is all. But on planet Earth, we can coexist evil and good, light and darkness, day and night, yin and yang, hot and cold. You need the opposites to be able to experience the whole. So if you are in a place in your life where you feel you're lost, you feel anxious, you feel stressed, know that it's perfect, that it's part of the journey. And we are living through exciting times. And as I was saying before, I truly believe we all sign up to come into this moment in time, which is unprecedented, which we are seeing the biggest systems collapse and we're seeing the most force being tried to enforce an order, the new world order. But that stress, that friction, that tension, that hate, that heat is actually not working as some forces energy wish they were working. 
some people, it's true, will have to pass, they will have to die because that's the role they chose to play on this lifetime for them and they'll come back with these lessons and apply them and keep evolving. But some others, and I will consider myself in that group, I choose to wake up right here, right now. And what does it take to wake up? It takes to first see everything as part of the process, not being afraid because fear paralyzes human beings. For fear, somebody will do the worst, most terrible things and will become submissive and a ship to the system. For fear, somebody will kill somebody else. We saw people taking all the toilet paper during the peak of the pandemic. They were taking the toilet paper knowing that their neighbor might not have toilet paper. And it's something so simple why it shows how humans, when faced with death, with fear, will not even think twice to step on their neighbor. But if you zoom out and you see everything as part of the process, you see everything as part as the human experience that you chose to embark and as a collective that we chose to embark, you know that there's nothing to be afraid. And as a dear friend was saying the other day, like, why should I be afraid of this virus? We all have an expiry date. And it's not going to come earlier or later because you are afraid there because you put seven masks on. Your time will come when it comes. So in the meantime, enjoy and do every action in your life, every single day, every single hour, every single minute, every single second with love and without hesitation from a place of full limitless nature and not from a place of fear of limited mindset and this is one of the keys to start experiencing life in a whole new degree envision yourself as a creator that is constantly creating their environment through their thoughts which come from their beliefs so start to think about which beliefs do you hold which are shaping your current reality which brings me back to the first statement of this video is life just happening to you or is life happening for you and this is something that will empower your life existing to levels you will never comprehend until you experiencing even for me it's still working process explaining this in words because when you realize that life is a white canvas it's a very fertile soil ground billion hectare land waiting to be cultivated waiting to be painted with whatever you want to bring into the soil with whatever color you want to bring into the canvas. But you have to choose consciously to bring the right seeds because the earth doesn't care what seed you put, it will make it grow in better or worse manner, but it will make it grow. And that's how so many people are just going through life saying that life is just happening, but it's not happening for them, it's happening to them. And they keep repeating this complaining, victimizing attitude in life and I think we're done with it if you're done with it can you just say yes I am done because I I know I was done and I, I chose to reclaim my sovereignty and it's a sovereignty it's a power that we gave away generations ago but now we are being asked called invited to reclaim our power as free sovereign beings on this beautiful planet earth and it all takes by you saying yes i am ready dear universe so let's do it together i want you to close your eyes for a second i want you to be seated in a comfortable position inhale deeply through your nose exhale through the mouth say ah inhale through your nose Exhale through the mouth, say, ah. 
one last time and really say, ah, releasing any fear of the unknown, releasing any old limiting belief system. So inhale deeply through the nose. Exhale, say, ah. And you feel this softness, this surrender. And from this surrender, repeat after me. Universe, I am ready to allow life to happen for me and not to me. I am ready to create the life I deserve from a place of love, from a place of compassion, from a place of kindness. I release any limiting belief, any story that kept me bound to old ancient karmic ties and step into the new you, into the new earth, into the light. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale. Repeat after me. So it is, so it is, so it is. Thank you for watching the video. Beautiful light being. Don't forget to subscribe. You'll get many awesome videos like this that I post weekly. I'll be posting meditations, guided breathworks, music jam sessions with my partner Bianca, and lots of awesome content as well. If you go to the description below, you will find a free guided breathwork and meditation, which I've been using with hundreds of people from all over the world to support them in activating the limitless nature that we all hold within. And I truly believe that breath is one of those golden keys that we as humans were given to access a higher state of being, to access our superhuman self. Thank you for tuning in and don't forget to be awesome, don't forget to be kind to yourself and to others and don't forget to live awakened. Namaste.